It's us. How's it going, everybody? What's going on? Oh, man, Leatherface keeps losing his nose. Look. Uh-huh. How's it going, Start everybody? Put on that little winter coat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how's it going, everybody? This is a community check-in with myself, Matt, your brand strategy lead here at Gun, and the one and only. I'm Wes Keltner. Yeah. If you guys don't know who we are, we, um, you know, we, well, what are you really doing here? Um, we're also joined today by my friend Nugget. <laughs> there we go. I mean, Nugget yeah. needs to be the new sound check. So that's <laughs> what we, yeah. I, I by the way, it. chat. Um, basically, we wanted to go live today because uh, there's a... Th- you know, we, we put out a patch. It's a massive patch, and uh, I need to meet my laptop. We put out this massive patch, and you know, as things can kind of go with that, you're you're running two seventy two or something. It's a lot. Seventy something fixes at a time. It turns into some things happen, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, we wanted to make sure that we kind of number one check in with you guys, talk to you guys a little bit about some of those things that are happening, but also let you guys know what we're cooking up for an upcoming uh, rapid patch. A little rapid patch, and that's very normal. Like when you drop uh, a patch as big as we did with that many fixes, because uh, there's like, it's, it's splintered builds. Like there's a lot of different builds that we had before we did the big giant patch. So when you have that many different uh, builds that are being patched independently, when you merge all those into one, which is a, you absolutely have to do to like uh, have a stronger you know, future of the title, you gotta do that. Uh, you're gonna. Some things are not gonna go as planned. You can test them all day long, and still, once it's out in the wild, you'll notice like, oh, that's not great. Uh, so yeah, we'll need to, to put out a, a rapid patch to fix a few things that didn't go as smoothly as we wanted. Well, we gonna do a little product placement here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I wonder how much those those gun boys paid for that product placement there. But uh, right. yeah, we launched. Uh, <laughs> Hashtag sponsor uh, <laughs> stream. <laughs> so we launched, uh, you know, the uh, Texas dry rubs, which is pretty rad. Nos enorgullece presentaros el increíble especiero bupero, bubalicioso. Por 40 dólares, precio real, no estoy de coña, al mismo precio que el juego, puedes comprarte un especiero cargado de especias, azúcar y muchas cosas bonitas con el sello de aprobación del mismérrimo Cook. <risa> Por 40 bucks you can cook like me. Ponte un especiero tú y le pegas un posit con la foto enmarcada de tu personaje favorito por el magnífico precio de 0 euro dollars y sé feliz como un ornitorrinco. Esto es lo que estamos haciendo en vez de parchear el juego rotísimo o meter contenido, baby, danos tu dinero, por favor, por favor. Ay, en navidades nos vamos de vacaciones. Gracias por vuestro apoyo continuado. So, anyway, moving on. Let's do the important things that we're really all here for and not talking about the shit we're wearing. Yeah, with the, the um, UI bug for Leatherface, it's important to kind of understand what we mean when we say there's a UI bug going on. Right now, the rev meter for Leatherface that fills up as you rev the chainsaw, which leads to you being able to go overhead with it. Uh, you said that's something that we have to fix. Now, the tricky part with this overheat issue, with this uh, UI element that's leading to the overheat issue is there's some other things that may, but we're relying on you, our community, to also make sure that you're communicating with us depending on what happens from here forward. So once this patch goes out and the UI issue is right, the overheat slash stall slash whatever is functioning the way you would expect it to with, uh, hopefully you guys can report on anything else you see. And you know, I mean, there's also a solid chance that you're not gonna see any of the issues that you're seeing right now anymore. It could be mostly tied to this. Danny permanently opening the fuse box exit. Mm. This is a tricky one because Danny is not supposed to be permanently opening up that fuse box exit. Danny is supposed to be adding to the amount of time that the fuse box exit. I know there's a lot of folks saying, you know, just in general, nerf Danny. Um, you've heard me say before, uh, various places, Twitter, so he's like a shark. And, um, so he's supposed to have that lunge. What he's not supposed to do is gain speed by swinging his weapon. Now, the situation was one where we were seeing on, uh, on the actual data of the game that, that lunging attack was creating a boost in speed. And when we needled in and for the bug side of it that renders someone completely unkillable, that's fixed. Yep. So someone in chat just said, Nugget seems like a problem now. And yeah. so I was like, this is a perfect time. This concept that we don't know what's going on with our game because we haven't played it is a silly one. So let's just put it to bed, get that out of the way. Not going to catch any flies with that honey. Mm. And let's just move on to some questions that are, uh, you know, mean something. Sissy debut album, Way. Now that's the person. Um, I think that that's things that are a little, they're a little longer. To work through, you know, they're not something that's going to make its way into a patch like this. 
the, the 270 fixes in the big patch were things that we wanted to get, you know, talking about. Um, the Nicotero audio, or the Nicotero chainsaw, rather, uh, when that's going to be available. Mm -hmm. um, that's coming at a later date. That's yep. something that we kind of like. The situation came up where we had that conversation on the check-in stream with Sid. We kind of left that and went, hey, what what could we do here? Is that a possibility? And then, as you guys know, you saw uh, regular leather face carrying the Nicotero saw. So, yep. uh, you know, we, we want to make that happen. We wanted to have a little fun with you guys with that trailer. But by the same note, that's going to that's gonna take a bit. We're going to go into 2024 with that one. Yep. Um, one more thing I wanted to get out of the way here. I see a question from Jay. Uh, Matt, I would like to re-look at my perks loadouts while ready up in the lobby. I understand where you're coming from on that. There's an issue there. <clears throat> Most folks don't like that situation of, I'm in there looking at my loadouts. Oh, I got the wrong loadout on. Let me move things around and then the match starts. Because 